A burst of air shoots out of the blowhole. Its sleek body glides through the water. From the shore, onlookers admire this mammal they thought to be dangerous as it harmlessly gobbles up a fish. This footage from the 1960s is of Moby Doll, the first captive killer whale. Uh, she's making various sounds which you're recording. Uh, could you give us a, a listen to these? Yeah, certainly. Scientists listened and studied Moby Doll, but they didn't mean to capture the whale in the first place. The intention was to kill an orca off of Saturna Island's East Point so the Vancouver Aquarium could make a replica sculpture of it. But the harpoon didn't kill this whale. Instead, it was stuck in Moby Doll's back, and this flooded dry dock became its final home. Even though the, the story about Moby Doll is, is incredibly sad, it's also amazing because that, he was the beginning of, uh, of our knowledge about orcas. It was in 1964 when Moby Doll was caught here at East Point and when he died 88 days later they did the autopsy and realized Moby Doll was actually a male. That just shows how much the understanding, our understanding of marine life and our oceans has grown and there's one organization here on Saturna Island that's taking that kind of research to the next level. I mean we have an endangered ecosystem here and we have to let people know what those dangers are. Walking along the rocks of East Point, Larry Peck and Maureen Welton admire the intertidal species living in the shallow tide pools. Because I think microscopes would be awesome. You, I mean, you can just take a little bit of water yeah, and you'd see all kinds of stuff. They both live on Saturna Island and have a passion for the environment, which is what sparked the start of the Saturna Island Marine Research and Education Society, also known as SIMRES. I think that the main vision of this organization is to bring the information that the scientists have discovered about our marine ecosystems to the attention of the general public. We feel that we're in a very unique spot here on Saturna because we are sitting right in the middle of a commercial zone um, and also a heavy industrial zone. And, and yet, uh, a large percentage of our island is national park. Here at East Point, where Boundary Pass meets the Strait of Georgia, a pod of resident killer whales are often spotted swimming past. There's also a, a a group of harbor porpoise that are unique. There's also a lot of uh, intertidal species here, um, all kinds of invertebrates uh, that live on the rock, many of which haven't been studied extensively at all. Simmeries is hoping to connect with post-secondary schools and bring university students to Saturna to do this kind of research. We already have one graduate student who is interested in doing her master's thesis here with the ORCA. And boy, that is the beginning. That is the beginning of our dream, you see. The next step for Simmeries is to install hydrophones and study the sounds of Saturna's sea life. They plan to do so this fall and soon after discover stories of Saturna that are as legendary as Moby Dolls. From Saturna Island, I'm Jen Moranitz.